Welcome to the deck profile portion of the video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break everything down, uh, show you which cards I was playing, how much of each, why I played them, and what you can replace or what they're in placement of. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting with the main deck, starting with the main deck, we're going into three Dynamorphia Theresias. This is your main bread and butter. This is your starter. This is what gets you uh, setting Dynamorphia traps, either regular or counter from deck to field. This is basically, if they're gonna imperm anything when you're starting, they would imperm this. Nine times out of 10. I'm not saying they should. I'm just saying that's what they go for. Uh, following up with, we have Dynamorphia Diplos. I've seen people play one, I've seen people play three. Um, Diplos, I think, can come in clutch in its own ways. Uh, what he does is on summon, he can foolish any Dynamorphia, Dynamorphia card from deck to grave. I actually won one of my matches today against Vanquish Soul by using Diplos' effect to foolish and burn my opponent for the last over 500. He only had 300 left, so that's how we won. Um, then we have the Dynamorphia Frenzy. Dynamorphia Frenzy is the fusion uh, trap that actually fusions by sending one main deck Dynamorphia, one extra deck Dynamorphia from extra deck or uh, main deck to graveyard to fusion summon. This is the better version uh, of the other trap, which is Domain. We also play three of. This is basically like a shut all fusion. You fusion from hand deck or field. Um, this is nice when you want to dodge certain things like imperms um, or anything else that would target your monster. You can basically just activate this and move around because then you would use fusion uh, materials on deck on the field. Sorry. Um, then we have the solemn strike of the archetype. This is Dynamorphia intact. Counter trap is nice. Um, Basically, you would activate one of like Domain or Frenzy if they chain Ash or in today somebody chains Spooky Dogwood. We basically act, uh, activate Intact. It's a negate, destroy, and for the rest of that turn, you're not dying for sure because your opponent can literally um, just, they're just going to attack and any damage you would take is half your life points instead, which is really, really nice. Okay, uh, then we have one brute, uh, one of because you require it requires a Dynamorphia monster on the field, along with one alert. Uh, so brute is a non-target destroy one of yours, destroy one of theirs. Alert is a monster reborn either for two level fours or um, one Ketrachina or one Rexterm. So if you bring out Rexterm and they kaiju it and you have this set, you can just bring it back. They can't kaiju you again. Um, if you know if anything like that, basically this helps bring uh, bring out more support or bring back the wrecks that they outed. Uh, and then we're doing one Sonic. Uh, the fact that this went from a three of to a two of to a, now it's a one of uh, nine times out of ten. If I already have Teresia or if I have Diplos and I already have full combo basically with um, whatever in my hand, and I normal summon Diplos nine times out of ten, I'm sending the Sonic. Uh, in case they somehow out something, this will help me with saving myself for uh, next turn and receiving damage. Uh, to protect my dinos, we're definitely playing Misk. Misk, uh, have you read it? So this protects you from anything activated during the main phase. This is perfect against your opponent in their main phase because if you act activate Kentrogena, sorry, if you activate Kentrogena, during their main phase, and you have Rexterm and they have Tactics to take control, well, you could just chain Misk and Tactics actually fizzles. Uh, we have one Card of Demise. Card of Demise is actually pretty broken. Um, this was actually the third duality. 
Um, so basically what I had in mind was duality is nice, but the issue with duality is you can't special summon the turn that you activated, right? So I figured, okay, that's cool. Digging three deep is also great, but with card demise, you set four, you have nothing in hand. You can literally activate this, dig three, and it's just really, really nice. Uh, it helps with, the, these are consistency cards. That's basically all this is. Uh, and then speaking of consistency, we're doing three wannabe. Uh, in case you didn't know, you live under a rock. Uh, a rise heart got hit and is now banned. This has to send from hand or field to grave as cost to activate. This is a prosperity at home. If you cannot afford prosperities or do not have any, in this case, I have them, but they're in my unchained deck. This is perfect. Uh, wannabe is perfect for trap decks, uh, especially Xenomorphia. Uh, you send this card from hand or field to the grave and you excavate off the top of your deck just like Prosperity, without banishing uh, up to the open spell and trap zones that your opponent has. So on your first turn, if you already have some or you don't have enough, you have this foolish, and then you could set one of the traps that you excavate and place the rest on the bottom. Uh, so like I said, if you don't want to spend, you know, Prosperity bucks, Wannabe is the card for you. Uh, this is the card that you want to be playing. <laughs> uh, we have three Ferret Flames. Ferret Flames is actually the card that out towers. Uh, cards that are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects, Chaos Angel, Monster Effects, whatever. Um, this is the card that you want to play. Next is three Fossil Dig. Uh, this is again consistency. Um, this searches your uh, Teresia if you don't have it. Um, if you have two of these, you can search one with Teresia and then Misk. Um, nine times out of ten, this is also a really good Ash Bait. They shouldn't ash it, but if they do, you know, hey, by all means, go for it. Normal summon trees say anyway. Uh, we have the one called by the grave to protect the trap card uh, fusion because they are both ashable. Um, we do have three solemn judgments. Um, this resolved a lot today. Uh, pain, like I said earlier in the video, um, pain half your life points is the name of the game. We are also running solemn strike. Solemn Strike is definitely the weirdest one of them all. Um, I know we already have Intact, but seeing more of these actually helps, especially if you're trying to go second. Or not trying to go second. If you lose a dice roll, because trap decks are horrible going second, these definitely help. If you don't have Intact, you have this. Perfect. If you have both Intact and Solemn Strike, 9 times out of 10, I'll do Solemn Strike first, because the 1500 is very odd. Uh, and then the last two cards to keep it 40 are Imperms. Imperms, uh, it can, this can be Imperms, or this is like technically, in my opinion, a flex spot. Um, this was going to be IDP. Um, IDP is very good. It's just up to you. So, this is 40, even. Uh, now for the extra deck. We... It's 3 Rexterm. This is your boss monster. This carries the load of the whole deck. This is the skill drain. Um, this is Stealth Bergia. Stealth Bergia is nice if you need to go for that. If you tried to OTK but didn't have enough and you can bring out Stealth Bergia, bring it out, burn them for whatever they try to use in hand or grave. You have Cantragena. Cantragena basically copies any normal Dynamorphia trap card in grave, um, which at one point I brought out two of them just for beat sticks. Honestly, very nice. Uh, for the, the rank fours, we have Lagia and Doka, along with Exiton Knight. Exiton Knight never came up. Um, this was gonna be just in case I had to, you know, blow up the whole board. Um, Lagia and Doka came up, but not often. Like these don't, if you're running Prosperity, these would definitely be your targets, for sure. Uh, then we're running one dark the dark charmer gloomy uh since all yours are dark um one garuda and one mud dragon for super poly targets this um is actually now he's a side deck three shifter slows down every other opponent right now this card needs to be banned it stops a lot of people ev everybody except flu uh shifter it slows them down that way we can set up and then pass turn uh, going second, we have three evenly matched. 
Uh, I cited this in once, didn't see it. Saw Shifter once against our, our Salad uh, match. We won that one. Three Super Polys. This can be Dark Ruler No More. This can be uh, Lightning Storms, whatever you want. I just figured Super Poly is good for breaking boards because they cannot respond to this at all. Very, very nice. Um, great against Manadium. Great against Rescue Ace, depending on what they have. Um, great against other Dynamorphia. Great against, it can be great against Unchained, um, depending if they have the Mudcracker and Griffin. Uh, and the Rage, you can side in the Poly target for all, all Link 3s, or all Link monsters, sorry. Um, this is really good. Um, we have Dimensional Barrier for Synchro decks um, or other Fusion decks. And then last but not least, three Anti-Spell. Anti-Spell definitely helps. This is the only Floodgate ex other than Rex that we're actually playing. Um, I wanted to kind of try to go away from Floodgates, see if we can do it. Obviously we could, but um, things happen. So this was definitely really, really great. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go back. But yeah, other than that, that's the deck profile. 